Before this, I have done FPS and temperature tests on fan and laptop cooler to see how much more temperature reduction I can get. Now I'm testing out replacing thermal paste. So this is on idle. It is 80 degree on the CPU and 77 degree on the GPU. So let's see on real game experience how much temperature reduction I can get and how much FPS I gain. Right now I'm using the Valorant game to test it. And it's around 30 to 40 FPS. After using it, it's 80 degrees on the temp CPU and the 77 degree on the GPU. So let's try using fan and laptop cooler again, the same one, and test it out. On idle for the fan, 78 degrees on the temperature and on the GPU it's 72 degrees. For the laptop cooler, the CPU is 80 degrees and the GPU is 74 degrees. Okay, so it's 80 degrees on the CPU and 74 degrees on the GPU while the other one is 83 degrees to 78 degrees GPU. Now as you can see, with thermal paste replaced, the temperature has gone down and the FPS has gone up. And comparing before, without changing anything, just having fans, fan and laptop cooler is actually hotter and less FPS. Thank you all for watching. Check out my playlist and you'll see the previous video, future videos, and check out other videos to see other content. Subscribe for updated videos. So thank you all for watching. Famous Cyber Amos, signing out.